So do you ever feel like you don't have things perfect and that's why you don't get things done? Um, or for example, for me, like I don't have any makeup on, I could use it as an excuse to not get stuff done. Uh, that's the family version of GSD. Um, hello, Pete. I just wanted to reference this idea of not getting things done and probably the reasons why some of us, and I'll speak for myself, don't. And one of them is feeling like things are not perfect for the public to see and we keep things from going out into the world or from creating and someone reminded me yesterday that GSD you just have to get stuff done and don't expect perfection ironically there's a lot of resistance when you try something new so you don't have consistency which Pete who's following me right now is reminded me that you know these videos can make a difference for different people out there and that the value you have you need to share in the world and the wisdom that we pick up along the way shouldn't be held within us and you don't need to be perfect or have things perfect to let them happen or make them happen and the resistance that we have initially ironically keeps us from having the consistency which the consistency is what allows us to not necessarily be perfect but to perfect upon or improve on what we're trying to put out there in this world and sometimes when that resistance is going on we're just not wired to do those types of things all the time and so there is that like even when you do a weight workout that first set of weight or that's that weight you're trying to push can feel really just uncomfortable and difficult but if you just gently move into it and do that first set that next time you go into the set there's a lot of adaptive reasons for that the next set feels like you're you're rocking it and it feels better and easier and so that's a very short-term explanation of how things can get easier and better over time if you just have the consistency and the consistency and the belief in yourself that this is a process and that it can change and thirdly and most importantly if it's not part of your rep repertoire of what you do every day you need to put it on your to-do list and for me it's a non-negotiable I will put W slash O for workout on my calendar because it's got to happen and even if it's only 15 minutes and not perfect I'm going to have the consistency and keep doing it so those are my three things is is don't expect perfection and that's something I have to really work on and remind myself that you don't need to be perfect you need to just put it out there and understand that resistance is part of the process and then lastly just make it a non-negotiable and part of your to-do list so until next time I'm Melissa Katie the challenge doctor and the family version, GSD, just get stuff done. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.